Strontlink's mobile service plans that are pretty popular among campers and digital nomads are getting new names, new features, and new pricing. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about what is different, what's changed, and what it means for you if you're an existing Roam subscriber. I'm gonna be talking about the new pricing structure, the new features, the new plans, and what you can expect if you're a potential Starlink Roam customer that is brand new to Starlink. So let's jump right into it. So Starlink Roam is their mobile subscription. They say it's for low demand, portable application, like for digital nomads, campers, and other recreational travelers. Roam service is always deprioritized behind residential and business customers. It really is just kind of like a best effort service just for basic data and inter other internet activities that you may need while you're out on the road or traveling or camping. Previously, there were three plan options under the Roam service umbrella. There was Mobile Regional, Mobile Global, and then the newest one, which was Mini Roam. Now of those three plans, they all had sort of different features, different pricing, and it was kind of confusing at times for customers to know which one was best for them. But now all those plans are gone and Starlink has consolidated all of those features of all those mobile plans into just two basic plans. So Starlink Roam has now broken down into Roam 50 gigabyte and Roam Unlimited. All right, so let's talk about the Roam 50 gigabyte plan first. So this is basically what Mini Roam used to be. You pay $50 a month and for that you get 50 gigabytes of Roam data. Now, you can also opt in for a dollar per gigabyte for additional data if you need to, if you need to go over that 50 gigabyte limit. But essentially now, they've allowed anyone to be on that mini Roam service plan by transforming it into Roam 50 gigabyte. So if you didn't want to buy the mini because of the high purchase price, but you were interested in that special 50 gigabyte plan for $50 a month, now you can have it with any Starlink dish. Any hardware is compatible with this new Roam 50 gigabyte plan. And this is probably the most exciting feature and development and change, at least for me, because I know a lot of you are just recreational travelers like I am. You go camping, maybe in an RV, or maybe you take road trips, and you only do that sporadically, you know, maybe like a, a couple times a month at most. You don't need unlimited data on your travel dish. You really just need to be able to activate it for a trip, maybe a weekend, maybe a week long use some data during that time, and then you just go back to pausing your service subscription. But the new Roam 50 gigabyte plan is not just the mini Roam service plan because they've actually added some features to it. So now all Roam service plans, including Roam 50 gigabyte, have international coverage, global coverage. So you can now take your Roam 50 gigabyte plan and dish and travel basically anywhere in the world with active approved Starlink coverage and have internet access there. They do still have that two month limitation. Starlink says you can travel internationally for up to two months per trip. Okay, so what does this mean if you are a current subscriber to that mini Roam service plan? Well, if you're currently subscribed to it, you're gonna be switched automatically to this new Roam 50 gigabyte plan. That means you don't have to do anything. Your plan changes automatically. The price is still the same, so there's no update there for you you will have access to these new features immediately and you should have gotten an email from Starlink explaining this. So you now have international travel capabilities r today, right now, in fact. You also have some of the other usual roam features, you know, coastal water access up to 12 miles offshore, in motion use carries over from that mini service plan so you can use your roam 50 gigabyte plan with any dish up to 100 miles per hour in motion. So that's the Roam 50 gigabyte service plan. That's where Roam starts out at. If you need more data, that's where Roam Unlimited comes in. Roam Unlimited is that second new service plan that kind of rounds out the Roam lineup. And like the name says, you get unlimited data. So it's unlimited Roam data, just like the previous plan, just like the previous mobile regional and mobile global plans. And in fact, if you're an existing mobile regional subscriber, you're gonna be transitioned to this uh, Roam Unlimited plan automatically. And like I mentioned before, all Roam service plans have access to the same core features. So as a Roam Unlimited subscriber, you'll have access to in-motion data as a part of your subscription up to 100 miles per hour. You'll have coastal water coverage up to 12 miles offshore. And you'll also have international coverage, global coverage, giving you the ability to travel basically anywhere in the world where Starlink is approved for up to two months per trip. The only real difference between Roam 50 gigabyte and Roam Unlimited is that Roam Unlimited includes unlimited Roam data versus only 50 gigabytes for the $50 plan. Now for a little bit of bad news. They've actually increased the price of this plan. 
So mobile regional used to be $150 per month. And those customers are now being switched to Rome Unlimited, which is $15 more per month. So Rome Unlimited is $165 per month in the United States. And a lot of customers have been getting emails letting them know about this price increase. But it seems like if your subscription was paused, like mine was, the email that you got notifying you of the new feature access and the new plan name didn't include a little mention there that you're gonna be paying more. And I think that is kind of a miscommunication with Starlink. I think what happened is since there's still a month left before that price increase takes effect for existing mobile regional subscribers, you can still purchase another month at that $150 price tag. So you can technically unpause your existing subscription pay the $150 before the new price cycle goes into effect. However, if you're a brand new Starlink customer, if you go onto the website right now, you will pay that $165 per month price for Realm Unlimited. So there's a little bit of confusion there. We're gonna have to wait and see what happens after October 10th, which is the date in which Starlink says this price increase will happen for existing subscribers. Now, I know nobody's gonna be thrilled about paying more for their monthly service. That is a pretty significant increase of $15 per month if you're a recreational traveler, but at least you're getting something out of it. Starlink did upgrade the features of your plan. And the big one there is in motion use. So it used to be if you wanted to use Starlink in motion, you had to flip on the mobile priority opt-in toggle on your Rome plan, and that cost $2 per gigabyte. So that was pretty expensive. The other option was to just use the mobile priority service plan, which started out at like $250 per month. Again, that was pretty expensive to get in motion data use. But that's really why a lot of people like the Mini, the Starlink Mini and the Mini and Rome service plan is because it included in-motion data with that 50 gigabytes that you got. That's why Starlink has consolidated now all their plan features into just one plan, Rome, and then you pick between how much data that you want. So either 50 gigabytes or unlimited. And no matter which one you choose, you have access to all those features, including in-motion data, which is a huge feature upgrade in my opinion. But if you're one of those people that says, in motion doesn't matter to me. I don't need to use Starlink in motion. I just use it when I'm camping. Well, that's where the Rome 50 gigabyte plan comes into play. You can now switch your existing Starlink dish. It doesn't have to be a mini anymore. You can now switch your dish to this 50 gigabyte Rome package. That lowers your monthly bill. That lowers the amount that you have to pay to activate it to use it for a camping trip and gives you 50 gigabytes of Rome data plus the ability to buy more if you need to. So the flip, the cutoff there between the Rome 50 gigabyte and the unlimited plan is 165 gigabytes. If you typically use less than 165 gigabytes per month under your Rome plan, then the Rome 50 gigabyte plan is better because it's actually cheaper if you use under that amount. If you typically use over 165 gigabytes in a month on your Rome service plan, then it's better off, you're better off going with that unlimited plan. So that was basically a long way of saying, I think that even though this is a price increase technically, I think enough people are in that use case where they're just recreational travelers like me that more of you are gonna be able to switch to that $50 plan and actually save money on this while gaining features. And of course, both the new plans, the 50 gigabyte and the unlimited, you can pause service on. So you're only paying for what you actually use. Okay, and besides that price increase for the Rome Unlimited plan, there's actually one more big downside here. And if any of you are boaters, sailors, the maritime community, and you use Starlink in coastal waters with the occasional ocean access, if you're occasionally pushing it beyond 12 miles off the shore, this is gonna be bad news for you. The Rome service plan, neither the 50 gigabyte or the unlimited allow you to opt in to mobile priority data anymore. So previously with the old Rome plans, mobile regional and mobile global, you had that little toggle that allowed you to turn on mobile priority data for like $2 a gigabyte. That allowed you to get ocean access if you need to, like if you're traveling from place to place and you needed to go more than 12 miles offshore, you could toggle that mobile priority on and then get ocean internet just for that short time where you're traveling from one place to the other. And then you could toggle it back off and go back to your regular mobile service plan. That cannot happen anymore with these new Roam plans. There's no toggle to turn on mobile priority data. And in fact, Starlink tells you in their terms of service and on the service plan page that that's not gonna be a feature anymore. So you will not be able to use Starlink Roam either plan on the open ocean. You'll be limited to 12 miles offshore. 
you'll have to upgrade to the mobile priority service plan if you need ocean access. The other thing that is gonna be affected here is general aviation use. So a lot of people in the general aviation community have been taking advantage of the Starlink Mini. So that dish is small, light enough to where you could put it in just about any airplane and use the in-motion feature that was on that mini room service plan to get data while you're flying in your airplane. But that is no longer gonna be possible because Starlink has put a speed limit on that at 100 miles per hour. So previously, I think the speed limit was like 200 something miles an hour. Well, they've reduced that down and I think they are specifically targeting general aviation. I don't believe they have FCC approval to be able to use that Starlink mini dish or any other dish in, air, in general aviation airplanes. So they've turned down that speed limit so that it's practically impossible to use the Starlink Mini or any other dish on the Rome plan in an airplane. All right, so those are the changes. The old mobile service plans are gone, Mini Rome service plan is gone, and it is now replaced with Rome 50 gigabyte and Rome Unlimited, just two options that have all the same features, including global access. These are big changes, I'd love to hear your thoughts and questions in the comments below. I'll try to answer them the best I can if I missed anything in this video. As always, I really appreciate you watching and supporting the channel and I'll see you in the next video.